Uh, hi everyone. Uh, this is a, a KCL KVL question, but in this question, we'll see that you can use circuit reduction to actually reduce the size of the problem and make it much easier, as we will see here. So, in that question, as you can see here, we are asked to find what is the resistance seen by the 10 volt supply. So this is the first thing. Then what is the voltage across R2 and what is the current across uh, or go uh, through R5? So basically I want to find this voltage. I will call it V2 and I want to find this current. I will call it I5. Now, there are, you can see here a couple of branches around here, okay? So if I want to use classical KCL, KVL approach, then I have to assign current to every single branch. So we will have like four or five unknowns here in this question. Then you have to solve five or four simultaneous equations, which will complicate your, your problem. But we can use the circuit reduction along with KCL and KVL to minimize the size of the problem and make it much easier, as we will see. So let's start with the first requirement. It says the resistance seen by the 10 volt supply, and we are given the values of R1 to R5. So what does it mean, the resistance seen by the supply? It means that if I remove the voltage supply, what will be the resistance between these two points? So let me first redraw the circuit, take out the supply, assign the values of all the resistors and see how we can handle this problem. So we'll have here your R4 and R5, each is one kilo here, one kilo. Then we will have R2, which is basically two kilo ohm. And then we will have R3, which is another one kilo ohm. And then we have here R1, which is two kilo ohm. And this is where I wanna see our equivalent between these two points. Okay, now let me assign the nodes so that I can tell clearly which part is connected in series, which connected in parallel. So this is one node one. This is the same point, nothing in between. So this is another one, and this is also one. This is a different point two. This is a different point three. This is the same point three. So this is four, four, and four. So basically here we have four different nodes. Now, when we look here to identify which are the resistors in series and parallel, you can see clearly that this one kilo ohm and this one kilo ohm both are in series, so we can add them. So let me redraw the circuit after adding these two resistors. So this is what becomes two kilo ohm, two kilo ohm, one kilo, two kilo, and I'm interested between these two points. Now, when we add two resistors in series, the node in between will be dissolved. So we will have here node one, this is node three, three, one, one, and then this is all of it, number four. Now, clearly you can see that the 2 kilo ohm, this 2 kilo ohm, and this, they are both connected in parallel because both resistors are between nodes 1 and 3. So again, so this goes here, then let's go modify the circuit a little bit. Now, these two are in parallel, so I will have one resistor. This is the 1 kilo. And this is the two kilo. Now, these two will stay the same, one and three. When you add two resistors in parallel, you keep the two nodes. They will not disappear. And this is node number four. And I want to see the resistance between these two points are equivalent. Now, I want to find this R, I will call it R6. 
which is the two parallel resistors, your R6 is basically you multiply two times two divided by two plus two, which is one kilo ohm. So this is becomes one kilo ohm. Now, easily you can see that this one kilo and this one kilo, they are in series, they are sharing one node, nothing else is sharing that node, so we can combine them together. Then I will have, now this is the last thing, two kilo ohm. Now, these two are in series, this is node one, this is node four, four, okay, and now, you can see here that when you add these two together, this will disappear, node number three, one and one, so this is two kilo ohm, and you are looking to the resistance between node one and node four. That is from the beginning. You want to see between one and four, this stays the same, between one and four, and clearly between one and four, these two resistors are in parallel, so the total resistance, R equivalent, is equal to two in parallel with two. Again, another one kilo ohm. This is the total resistance seen by the, by the supply. So we are done with this part. Now let's find the voltage across R2 and the current across R, uh, R5. Okay, so I want to have this voltage, V2, and I5. As I said, now if I want to go and solve this in the classical way, you will have too many unknowns. But let's use the knowledge that we have here and let me use this circuit basically. So, and I will add now the voltage supply because I want to find voltages and current now. So, basically, I will have the voltage supply here, which is 10 volt. I will have here my R1 which is basically the two kilo ohm. And then I will have the two resistors in series, which is basically this circuit, which are between, between one and three. So this is node one and this node three, this is node four. So all of this is one, three, and all of this is number four. Now this is one kilo. And this is one kilo. So clearly that you can see here that the current here, if I call it I, is the same as I. These two are in series. So I will have a voltage here is equal to I times one kilo. So it is I K. And here the same thing, I times K. And this is the 10 volt. So I can apply KVL here. So apply KVL. So you will have 1K plus 1K. So we'll have 2KI minus 10 equal to 0. So your I is equal to 10 divided by 2K, which is equal to 5 milliamps. So the voltage now between point 1 and 3, this 1 and 3, V between point one and three is equal to one K times five milli, which is equal to five volt. Now, this is the voltage between one and three, but let's go back to the original diagram. This is one and three. So the R2 through which I want to find the voltage is also between one and three. Okay, so it means that your V2 is also equal to 5 volt because this is between the two nodes. So even if I reduce the circuit, but since I maintain the same two nodes, then the voltage will be exactly the same. If you have multiple resistors or just one resistance, so that will be equal to your V, V2. Okay, now what is I5? Again, the voltage between 1 and 3, this is point 1, and this is point 1. So the voltage between 1 and 3 is also equal to 5, 5 volt. So it's the same two points. So basically your I5 
is equal to that voltage between 1 and 3, which is equal to 5 volt, divided by the summation of these two resistors, which is 1K plus 1K, which is equal to 5 divided by 2K, which is equal to 2.5 milliamps. So as you can see here, using the circuit reduction and going back and forth, forward, backward and forward, between the original circuit and the reduced circuits, we can find the voltages and, and the currents. Of course, not all the time we can do that, but sometimes when we have the chance to do that, this can reduce a lot the size of, the, of my problem. 